All right. We are live, although it doesn't look like there's any viewers. <laughs> no, there's no no viewers yet. But, I mean, the nice thing is we'll still have the recording so we can post it later. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, well, hi, everybody. Those that are watching in the future, those that are not watching now. Uh, Mark, Kira, we're going to be doing a two-player live play of Western Legends. And maybe a Q and A at the end, um, but then we're but basically demonstrating the man in black it. deck. I think it's gonna wait the full live minute, stream. Seconds. Look at that. So just in case this is recording, <laughs> we're not sure yet. I'm not sure what that's interesting that it's still I showing. It, the... I think it makes us wait for the whole time, but if not, you're gonna get all this fun commentary ahead of time. <laughs> well, behind the scenes action. Behind the scenes action. Right. We know games. We don't know technology. That's not true. It's not completely. Kind of true. It's kind of true. Yeah. We got this awesome soundtrack. Not a fan. Starting over. So Thirty so seconds. That may be why there's no viewers too. It's a good point, Mark. It's not live. They can't click in and view. <laughs> we shall see. Uh -oh. Should we do a countdown? No, I'm not doing a countdown. Ten seconds. Whoa. <laughs> hey, there it goes. Look at that. Hey, we are live. And there are 20 people or so ready to watch us. This is awesome. Uh, hi, Saul. I, I see you in the chat there. Uh, we're going to be doing a live play here. Uh, Two-player Western Legends. Western Legends, for those who don't know. Uh, Two-player, myself and Kira. Kira, she's here somewhere. Kira. I'm taking care of the music. Yes, important. you got to set the ambiance. Um, no, we're going to be doing a two-player live show, uh, just the two of us. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights, folks. Um, we'll do a two-player. We're going to show the uh, Man in Black deck, um, and obviously it's, it's basically just the two of us and then the Man in Black uh, having a good old time, and, and hopefully um, one of us one of us will win. <laughs> so uh, we're going to keep an eye on the uh, chat as best we can. There are a couple of us here, so obviously we'll be playing the game, but we're going to keep an eye on the chat. So if there are questions, feel free to pop them in there. We'll get to them if we can. Uh, you can ask questions in the Q&A tab as well, and we can wrap those up if, you know, the ones that we miss. We can get to those after the game. So uh, I'm going to adjust the camera here so you guys can see what you came here to see, the game, and not our faces. So one second here. Do you want to introduce here. our characters really quick? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Before we... Can That's just the camera. Yeah. Who am I going to lose to this evening? Kit Carson. Kit Carson. One of my favorite characters to play with. I'm really excited to be playing with him tonight. Uh, he'll be starting in Sunny Hill Mine, uh, which you'll see here in a moment. And I'll be playing Red Player. Uh, he'll start with two poker cards, an upgraded revolver, and a miner's map. Kit Carson, American frontiersman, fur trapper, wilderness guide, Indian agent, and U.S. Army officer. He lived among the Mary and lived among and married into the <laughs> that word. I just completely botched that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Arapaho and Cheyenne tribes. Carson's expeditions into the Oregon Trail encouraged pioneers to travel westward. He became a frontier legend in his own lifetime. Even exaggerated versions of his exploits were the inspiration for dime novels. Awesome. Kit Carson is going to hopefully not lose to Jesse James. Uh, Jesse is going to be starting in. Uh, he has the capability of starting in either Bandit B Hideout. I've chose to start chosen to start him in Dixon Creek, uh, in between the two towns. Uh, he gets to start the game with ten dollars, a poker card, an upgraded revolver, and a wanted point. So I get to start wanted. Uh, Jesse Woodson James was an American outlaw, robber, guerrilla, and leader of the James Younger Gang. Despite the brutality of their crimes, he and his brother Frank gained fame and sympathy for their lawless exploits. Eager to collect the sizable bounty, new recruit Robert Ford betrayed and killed Jesse. Already a celebrity in life, Jesse became a legendary figure of the Wild West after his death. So those are the two characters we're going to be playing tonight. Uh, I will be playing the blue player. 
uh, on the board because there's no green in this game, sadly. Tear. Tear. All right, I'm going to adjust the adjust the camera here so you guys can <laughs> see what you came to see. Western Legends. That don't know, uh, a revol my upgraded revolver that I get to start with, after fight cards or after cards are revealed in a fight, decrease the value of a card played against me by one, and it's already upgraded, so that's LP at the end of the game. And then for my miner's map, after I prospect for gold, I can reroll one of my prospecting dice. So I'm really happy to be starting off in a mine with a miner's map. And um, my well, my unlockable ability will get there when I unlock it. How about yes. you? Yes, uh, I also start with an upgraded revolver, so I will be decreasing your cards by a value of one getting an LP at the end of the game. I don't start with any items. I just start with 10 bucks and a poker card. And wanted. Um, and I start wanted. So I'm already on the wanted track, which is going to earn me points at the end of every single one of my turns. So I get to start off setting the pace of this game unless I get arrested. Also, being the most wanted player earns me the distinction of being the first player. So our lovely first player token. Uh, I get to do that as well. Um, so we have, I'm starting here in Dixon Creek with the blue player. Uh, Kit Carson, Kit Kira will be in uh, the mine up here in Sunny Hills. And our man in black starts down at the rail station. Um, and I'm actually going to pull his cards up here closer. The man in black has a deck of cards that control his AI um, in terms of how he's going to move around the board, what he's going to do, how he's going to earn his points. So we're going to be, I figured it's going to be drawing those cards off and we'll move them up here so we're not reaching all the way across the board. We did the same thing with the poker deck. You can see there is a spot in the lower corner of the deck or of the board for the poker deck, but I've set them over by us as well because we're a little far from that corner. So uh, we're going to dive in here and Jesse James gets to be the first player because he's most wanted. So I'm going to start my turn by drawing uh, $10 and a single poker card. Let's see what I can what kind of damage I can do, what kind of trouble I can get into here. Um, I'm wanted, so I don't go near the sheriff. Let's do... I'm going to use two of my actions to get down to the mine, and I'm just going to use my third action to mine for some gold. Two gold nuggets. Jeez. That's a lucky roll. Right off the bat, man. Batman. Batman. No pun intended. No, 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 no. All right, so there's that. That is the end of my turn. So uh, we're going to play with the advanced man in black rules. Uh, advanced man in black rules, the man in black will draw a card after every player's turn. Uh, so the man will operate the man in black now. It's the end of your turn, so... That is the end of my turn. You get a point I do get a point. Uh, I'm blue. We'll get this figured and out. And you ended your turn at a location outside of town. I wasn't even looking at the story cards. Look at that. So, story cards. Ending location outside of town and gain two or more LP in a single action will let us contribute to these story cards. And in a two- to four-player game, since they're playing two players, we only need two cubes on there to trigger a story card. The man in black. I think you need this. Player aid, Mark. Player as aid. As a reminder. Double-sided. helpful. This is very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Place the man in black in the same space as the player with the most LP. Well, guess what? I just got one LP, so I guess he's coming to me. So we're going to move the man in black over into my space. The man in black fights that player. It doesn't matter. That's not very nice. So the man in black is going to fight me. Um, if the man in black wins the fight, he gains two LP, and I will gain a wound and draw a poker card. If I'm wanted, which I am, I'm also arrested. So there's the arresting aspect built in, um, and if the players are tied, which we are not. So we get to fight the man in black. So the man in black is going to draw uh, cards to fight me with. He's going to draw three cards. And with the man in black, the man in black, when you're with, with players, it's always the player to your right chooses the card. With the man in black, the man in black actually draws three cards. You reveal the top three cards, and the man in black always resolves the highest valued card. So you're always playing against the highest valued card, which knowing that as a player, I can kind of take that into consideration, but it doesn't really do me any good considering what I have in my hand. So <laughs> we're going to play the man in black. All right. So I lost the fight. So I'm going to gain a wound and draw a poker card to add to my hand. And then I'm also, whatever the effect was on that card, a uh, player in this fight gains one LP, one Marshall point, or one wanted point. Well, I'm going to take the LP because... I got arrested since I was wanted, so I'm going to come off of the wanted track, and I get to take my happy little guy over to the sheriff's office and oh, point my gun know. at the sheriff, apparently. I'm not very nice. Just yeah, pointing guns at everybody. Didn't want to get arrested. So that is the end of the man in black's turn, and now Kira gets to go. 
now I get to go and I start off in the mine. So I'm going to draw two cards to start. And then I'm going to mine. And I start with two nuggets. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and do it again and see if I can get full up here. And I did. Wow. Wow. That was really lucky. Okay. <laughs> Not complaining about that we all. We rolled three dice, the dice right. three times and collected six nuggets. That's fantastic. So I could do, so for my third action, I could do a couple of different things. And I shall. I'm going to go ahead and play Determination, which allows me to gain two actions. I have two actions left. I'm going to move into this bandit space. Hello, bandit. Well, I guess I'll draw two of these cards here. And hopefully wound you. Okay, ready and reveal. I've got a queen to your six. Yep, other player in this fight gains one wound, and this cannot be canceled. That's a super bummer, but that's all right. Because I still won. Yes. And for winning, I get... Marshall point or LP, your choice. I think I'll take a Marshall point, please, Marshall and point. $20. So she's going to enter the first space in the Marshall track, which is going to give her $20. And this little dude comes off the board. He's yeah. running away. And you still hide. have one action left. Let's see his mommy. So now we'll go... Let's see. One two and i'll just hang out well no i'll hang out here because what i'd like to do is, is in my that. location <laughs> in a spot outside of town allowing me to trigger this story card at the end of our turn there my turn oh tribes of the mesa you can hear them in the mountains their voices echoing across the red desert though strange to us the people of the mesa have lived off this barren land for longer than most folks can imagine they are kind people, even to those that don't deserve no kindness, even to those that drove them up into the mountains. Players that contributed to this draw two poker cards or lose two wounds. Well, I'll take my two poker cards because I only have cards. one wound. Two poker cards we'll for me. We'll spawn bandits at A, B, and C. So we'll put the two bandits that come back to town or to the, the outskirts here to mess with us. And the player who triggered the event... Moves the sheriff up to six spaces, but the sheriff is not active right now because Mark was already arrested. Yes, yes, I was. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> so that <laughs> ends my turn, and now we'll have the man in black draw. And be sure I have the right cards. place the man in black with, in the same space as the player with the most LP. Mark, that would be you again. Again. Ha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You want to play the advanced? Uh, no. All right. <laughs> the man in back, black fights that player. If the man in black wins, he'll gain two LP, and that player gains a wound and draws one poker card. Let's see if that's the case. Two and Well, this could three. be fun. And I have to play the highest poker card again, so we'll play a queen to a queen. And my have... upgraded revolver actually reduces that down to a jack. Cool. So I'm going to win that fight. And you get to draw a poker card for the ability on that card, and because he lost... He doesn't gain anything. Nothing happens. He gets to just chill out. He gets to just chill out at Boom. the, at All the right. law office. So that's good. Of Dark Rock. <laughs> All right. My poker card simply goes away. And you drew one, right? It is my turn. Did you draw a poker card? I, didn't, your, I did not. Okay. Was I supposed to? It was on the to? queen. My, the fight card that I played. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the effect on the fight card. Honesty. Well, I've fallen off the one this and track. This is what I get for being, so. for, for being on the side of the law. I'm the good guy, so I had to tell him, but I shouldn't have. I I'm going to take $20, card. bringing me to a total of $40. i am going to use one action to move over to the general store. I'll put the man in black here. here he fights the sheriff. I'm going to use my second action to simply work at the general store, which is going to make me an extra $10. And for my third action, I'm going to spend $50. And I'm going to buy a Mustang so that I can get around this board a lot quicker. So my Mustang here, Mustang for $50, lets me move around the board. Instead of moving two spaces per move action, I can now move up to four spaces for a single action. So I've just doubled my movement there. That is the end of my turn. I'm not wanted, so I don't get to go up anywhere. I didn't gain two or more LP, so we simply move to the man in black. Place the man in black in Bandit Camp C in Spike's view, which is down here at the bottom of the board. If there's a bandit there, which he is, remove the bandit. The man in black gains one LP. 
and each player without a wound gains a wound. We both have wounds, so none of us are going to get wounds. So yay, no more wounds. <laughs> and it says to spawn bandits today, but both bandit camps have bandits in it already. So that was a pretty painless man in black turn. He quit fighting me locally. Fantabulous. I'll take $10 in a poker card, please. $10. Thank you. And since I'm at the general store, I will buy myself a handy dandy mule and call her Betsy. Betsy the mule. For $30. $30. Thank you. <clears throat> so that was my... My, oh, no, wait, I wasn't there. I moved there first, by the way. That was my first <laughs> There you go. Then so, I bought my mule. Um, let's see. What do I want to do for my Thoyed action? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I suppose... No. Shoot. I'm going to fight you. You're going to fight me? I'm going to fight you. Wow. Not cool, man. I'm fighting you, and mm -hmm. you're gonna like it. Sorry. That's all right. You're just gonna get wounded. I might. All right, ready and go. Oh, I played the shootout card. Shootout allows me to cancel the result of this fight and immediately initiate a new fight. So I just made Kira burn a queen. You're a jerk. So I love I the shootout card. Queen. All right, you ready? Not really. I'm gonna play this card instead. Okay. You gonna do the same thing, or are you gonna just win the fight? I'm just gonna win the fight. Eight to four. I wasted a shootout. The backup to my backup. The backup oh, to the backup. Pow. All right, so I got I got beat. You did. So you were fighting me as a duel, so you get two LP. I believe I do, Bloop. and that allows me to jump onto one of those two story Bloop. cards there. Which one would you like? Uh, the first one would be fabulous. Thank you. That works. And let's see. I don't have anything else I can do. That ends my turn. So now it's the man in black. All right. <clears throat> Place the man in black in bandit camp B in Dixon Creek. If there is a bandit there, remove that bandit. The man in black gains one LP, and both players lose $10. Spawn bandits at sea. We are I both broke. I don't have $10 to lose, <laughs> and neither do you. Dang. So bandit gets added here, you but not another you bandit camp C. my gold I was hiding. Them what? their hiding skills of yours. My hiding skills are on. Um, I am going to take two poker cards because I don't like just having two cards in my hand. I am going to use my first action to move down to the bank. I'm going to deposit two gold nuggets, two lovely, beautiful golden nuggets for two LP and forty dollars. Just throws gold around like that. I do, and then I have one action left. I'm going to use that one action to play Determination to give me two actions. And then I'm going to move two spots back to the general store. And for my last action, I'm going to spend $40 and I'm going to grab a rifle. The rifle gives me the ability at the start of a fight, I can look at two random cards in the targeted players or uh, the man in black. I'll get to look at two random cards. However, I will not be reducing cards by one. At this point, at least not now. And as a reminder, since he now has two guns, he just chooses at the beginning of his turn which gun he's going to have active. So if, if fights come up, you know which gun he's using. And so I gain whatever one's on top. Two LP on my turn, so I can also place my cube on this card. And at the end of my turn, that will trigger. So we have rub some dirt in it. Getting shots, just something that happens. Same as getting married or catching a fever. <laughs> Players that contribute to this draw one poker card. They may gain one wound to gain one LP. And, yeah, I am going to do that because that one LP is going to take me to five and unlock Jesse James' special ability. Are you doing the wound I as well? I will do the wound okay. as well. Thank you. Jesse James, I've got five points. So Jesse James now has his special ability active, and my special ability reads, while in a fight outside of town, decrease the value of a card played against you by one. And in fights against other players, you win all ties. Normally, a tie is won by whoever's doing the attacking, whoever initiated the fight. But now, with Jesse's ability, I'm going to win all ties at this point. That is going to be the end of my turn. I have no wanted points, so I'm not going to score points. All right. Place the man in black in the same space as the player with the most LP. Ha, ha, ha. Here he comes. He's coming for me again. The man in black robs that player. So we're going to fight again. If the man in black wins, he's going to gain an LP, and I'm going to lose half of my gold nuggets or half of my money because I have no gold nuggets, although I have no money either. So um, 
but I could get wounded in this. So I get to fight the man in black again. And I suppose I will just use this card against the man in black. And he got me. So, so I'm going to gain um, an LP, a Marshall point or a water point. What will you take, sir? I think I'm just going, actually, I think I'm going to take the Marshall point because I want $20. I have plans for money. Uh, so that goes there. I gain a wound and draw a poker card since I lost to the man in black. Now, the problem I have is I have four cards in my hand, but I have three wounds, which means I can only hold two cards. So we'll discard down. I just threw one away, too. I forgot. And man in black is done. Man in black won, so he gains an LP. And that is the end of my turn. Right into man in black's turn, so we're over to... Any stories? Kira, No. Turn we have end your story time. location outside of town, end your turn location outside of town, and gain two or more LP in a single action. Hmm. I'm going to draw two. And as we did on Thursday, when we had all, we had six players playing on Thursday, we're going to play the short game to 15 again, uh, and then we'll have typical in-game scoring. We are also, one other thing to point out, one thing that we're doing a little differently um, than, hey, Hervé, good to see you in chat. Yeah, we're doing, we're, we're playing Man in Black. Hold so on, he's got to see my outfit. Um, Oh, hold can't. on. <laughs> hold her, bay. We're going to, you have to see Kira's outfit. She's really in character tonight. I'm just wearing the colossal black and blues, but Kira's all in character tonight, which is probably why I'm going to lose. So, <laughs> uh, no, this is Mark. Mark. It's Mark. AJ is working, doing Kami Sama work tonight, I guess, yep. and some kind of movie night. With the wife, I, I don't know what's happening with HA, <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, so yeah, man in black. Uh, but as I was saying, we, one of the things that we're not playing with here tonight that we were playing with when we when we live streamed on Thursday with six players, uh, we are not playing with the goal, the character goals. Um, and it, it can make the game move a little faster if you're not going for goals. Uh, the other thing that it does is uh, <laughs> he likes your style, Kara. Uh, but the, the other thing that the goals do when you're playing a two player game, if you have the goal cards, that's a lot of points and you could have up to nine extra points at the end of the game from goal cards and the man in black doesn't have those end game points. So it can really shoot you way past the man in black. So, All right. So I threw two cards. I didn't get the cards I was looking for. So I'm going to use my instincts card, which allows me to draw three more poker cards. Ooh, much better. Hmm? This is rough for me. You're, you're rough. I know. Okay. Around the edges. <laughs> all the edges. All right. So <laughs> let's see. A lot of cards here. So I want to make sure I use them wisely. So I think first I will use a living legend to gain a martial point and $20. Martial point, $20. Thank you very much. And then I will play reputation as a reaction to that. Gain an LP. You really need to. You're one point out. away from your extra ability. So that was my. Second action, right? Yes. I played the card. I did the thing. Oh. Played the card tough. and did the thing. Played the card and did the thing. All right. So. I think Hervé's up awfully late, isn't he? He is. What are you doing up so late, Hervé? I'm going to saddle <laughs> up and move down. Oh. And destroy the. Destroy the thing with my weird. Saddle up to the bank. <laughs> Trying to get it out of the way. <laughs> So that was my third action and my final action. So then I have to discard one card so that I'm down to three since I have two wounds. And I'll play, I let's see, in my turn at a location. Nope. nope. And, nope. and nope. So it's Man in Black time. Man in Black goes to the Red Falls Cabaret. And uh, if only one player is in Red Falls, they draw two poker cards. So there's nobody there. If no players in the man in black gains one LP, boom, just automatic automatic LP for the and man in black. And we reshuffle the man in black deck. Oh, look at that. Reshuffle. So okay. there are cards that have you reshuffle before you run out of the black, man in black deck. I believe there are three of them that make the heavy reshuffle as part of the card itself. So we'll reshuffle the man in black. Um, you're going to bed. Uh, he is going to bed. Going Bye, to bed. I should say, it's awfully late over there where you are. So, Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll look for your email. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, <laughs> he says he's sending us an email because we'll love his style, too. Awesome. I can't wait. So, that's going to be good. We're going to we're gonna put it all over social media, Hervé. So, no, kidding. 
It'll be good. All right. Uh, that was Man in Black's turn, so it is my turn. I am going to... What am I going to do? I'm really wounded, which means I can only have two cards in my hand. Um, you have a Mustang. Get to the doctor's office. Yeah, I think You're what I'm going to do... still in the general do, store. You could upgrade him. Oh, wait. You got him in there. What did you do have, with your turn? Money? I haven't done that yet. That's what I'm thinking. I think I'm just going to take the $20... For my first action, I'm going to work at the general store and make $10. Then I'm going to upgrade my Mustang. So for $50, I can upgrade the Mustang. So he's now worth an extra LP at the end of the game. So I'll get another end game point. But then he also lets me move five spaces now. So now I'm really getting across. So I have I only have one action left, though. That was smart. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to hang out where I am right now, and I'm going to... <laughs> No, reevaluate your choices. I'm, I'm going to move over here by the man in black. I'm going to move my five to get to the doctor's office so that I'm good for the next turn. Yes, lots of life choices need to be reevaluated now. Um, that is my turn. Nothing there. I'm not outside of town. I didn't gain any LP. So the man in black is going to kick up here and place the man in black. Ugh. Place the man in black in the same space as the player with the most LP. The man in black fights that player. I feel like I should be slightly worried. I feel like I'm getting attacked again. Uh, if the man in black wins, he's going to gain two LP, and I'm going to gain a wound or a poker card. If that, and I'm not wanted, so that's fine. So I get to fight man in black again, and I know he's going to be playing the highest card automatically. Do you know we just played the ace on the last round? But mm -hmm. You don't know what I, else was in that hand. I know. All right, you ready? Yeah. And go. I'm oh. throwing a card away. Joker. I'm sorry, Jack. Jack. <laughs> I got Jokers on my mind. I gained the Joker up ten dollars. Yes, we unlocked the Jokers today. Fantastic. Uh, so I got you gained my ten bucks. Ten bucks. I kept him from gaining two LP. I burned an ace, which hurts badly. Yeah, it does. especially considering what I have what I have left in my hand. Um, and that will be the end of his turn. And it's now over to Kit Kira, Kit Carson, Kit Kira, Kira Carson, Kira Carson, Kit Kita. Yeah, I don't know. Like that. It's not working anymore. No. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Kier, Kierta. I don't know. That doesn't work either. Kit Kira. I think that's probably what we stick with. All right. So I'm at the bank. I'm going to deposit four gold. Wait. I need to draw cards. Just start. Yeah. There you go. Start by drawing cards. Um, four gold nuggets. That's going to hurt. I'm going to do four gold nuggets. And one, two, three, four. Two fool's golds. Wow. Oh, I think Travis says on Thursday he'd never seen that. I got and it's I happened just twice drew, now. In all fairness, I just drew the second one. So that's gonna move you up to that's moves you from four to six. Your ability is now unlocked. And that gets me a hundred bucks because I already have twenty. Okay. And we're gonna put I did put your cube on the game two or more. Sweet. 60, 80, 100. So now your money is maxed out at 120. And that is my first action, y'all. All right. Um, I like it. I like it. All right. Um, what to do next, I wonder. And you're not, you're, tr you're riding the, the good guy path all of a sudden. Yeah, but it's you not working out for me. I got arrested twice. and I turned my life around. Almost twice, that's right. All right. I almost want to. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like the, the, the nugget depositing just hurt me. <laughs> it did so my i'm sorry i didn't tell everybody my ability no you did not my ability now with my unlock is that after i move i may move an additional one space while in a fight outside of town i can decrease the value of a card played against me by one i'm tempted to head down and fight that bandit in the bottom right corner i can move a total, of, move three a total spaces, of three spaces plus so one plus your one which will get you there. And I will fight this, this sucker. Rascally. Out in the outskirts of Spike's view. Wabbit. Man. I have a revolver, which, and my, I'm outside of town. So you're going so to be decreasing this card by two. By two. So go for me. Ready? Yeah. Bulletproof. All right. Well, I played a 10. Cancel this fight and immediately initiate another fight. The other player draws a poker card. So you get a poker card out of it. That's super lame. But I immediately get, I, I made you burn a jack, which is <laughs> made awesome. Made me burn a jack. I get two new cards for the bandit and hopefully get something better than what I had. Do, does it, it, can't, it kills my bonus, doesn't it? Uh, no, you would still get to lose the wound. Oh, cool. I lose a wound. That makes me happy at least. <laughs> some, some, some sunlight in that dark little time so now we have to do it again yes we do which is a bummer because 
which they're reducing by two. I am. Oh, look at that. It's a seven. Because of her reduction, that's a seven versus a seven. The NPCs win ties, so the bandit's going to win this fight. Not anymore. <laughs> Stick them up reduces this another point, so now I've got a six with the bandit. So, so I burn two cards to beat this poor She's going to win the fight. The other player in this fight discards a poker card or loses $10. So you have to do that because of the fight effect. Oh, yeah. Bummer. So you're either going to lose $10 or discard a poker card. <laughs> and if the player defeats a bandit, which you did, they cannot choose to gain martial points. So you can't gain your martial point that would give you two LP. You can only take the one LP. I'll take the one LP, please. Right. Oh, thank you. You're way ahead of me, so I felt like I had to slow you down somehow. That's I didn't bummer. really slow you down that much. Bandit comes off the board. So that was my and second And you still have one action, action. left. Action. So I will move to Spikes View Mine, please. Spikes View Mine. Ending a location outside of town. Thank you. Was not good. I so, like... Man of Black goes back to the cabaret, gains one LP. Shuffle deck. Well. That was a, that was a quick Black. turnaround for the Man in Black. Yes, it was. He really wanted to get back and see another show. He came out of the cabaret to fight me and wound me. Say hi to the doc while he's in town. <laughs> and then he went back to the cabaret. Whoops. So that man in black shuffle, is a shuffle. mystery. That was bad shuffle. All I right. Saw that. I need to do something to score points. <laughs> I'm going to draw two poker Good cards luck. to start my turn. For my first action, I'm going to spend the $10 that I have to get rid of all of my wounds at the doctor's office. I'm going to move to the mine for my second action. And for my third action, we'll just mine for gold and hope that I get some gold. Double gravel. Nope. Double money. 20 bucks. That'll work. I'll take 20 bucks. All right. And that's going to end my turn, unfortunately. So the man in black gets to come. Well, actually, if it's most player. Nope. Place the man in black in bandit camp A in Macedo's point. So he's going to come all the way over here. If there's a bandit there. Remove it. Man in black gains an LP. And both players discard a poker card. And then we're going to spawn bandits in B. I have no poker card. Oh, of course you don't. Ha! It's a, it's a blessing nice and a curse. Strength card. Okay. And that's the end of my turn, and I am now losing to the man in black. So this is not good for me. Bye, Hervé. We'll see you later. All right. I'm going to just draw two because I maxed out on money as it is. Uh, yay. Okay, so I'm in the mine, so I'll just go ahead and mine on here. Yeah, because you know, there's 10 bucks. And I have it. a miner's map, so I can re-roll. Oh, yeah. I can't take that 10 bucks, but I can take that gold nugget <laughs> for my re-roll action. Yep. So I'm going to do it again because why not? Right here. Gold I nugget and some gold. So two nuggets. And then, and for those of you that didn't catch earlier, I'm able to re-roll one die each turn that I choose to roll die because of my miner's map. So if I have a bad result, it gives me the ability to re-roll. So I'm going to do my third and final turn. Get one more nugget. I didn't. I got 10 bucks I can't take and 10 bucks I can't take and a reroll <laughs> and a nugget. So I maxed out on nuggets. Yay. At least it worked out somewhat in my favor. Not in mine. Aww. You're already 11 points. We're playing and to 15. I'm ending my turn outside of town. You have no more cubes to place, though. Mm, that's a super bummer. Unfortunately for you. <laughs> Dang, when did I gain two LP? I forgot I did When that. you cashed in all those nuggets oh, last you're time. right. Yeah. All right, place the man in black and bandit camp B in Dixon Creek, which is over here. Bandit gone. There's a bandit here, so he gets removed, and man in black goes up another one. Both wow. players lose $10 and spawn bandits in C. Just $10. Making change. Make some change. Making change. And we spawn bandits in C. All that money I couldn't take. There's a bandit right next to you. Right. You're up. I'm up. Um, I'm going to start my turn by drawing two poker cards. And I suppose, since I'm in the mine, I might as well go ahead and mine again to start my turn. First action. 20 bucks. You and did your turn outside of town last time. Get to re-roll. No, you didn't. No. No, yeah, you did. I did. Oh, look at that. We should have unlocked that. We should have. We're going to pause this pause for a second. Pause and rewind for a second. Rewind. Because this would have triggered last turn. I still wouldn't have been able to use my cube. No. Which is sad. 
Oh, no, because, yeah, because he didn't gain two LP in the last turn. Uh, this is the sad card, the Widow. So sad. He'd been gone for days by the looks of it, but she bawled and tugged at his shirt nonetheless. Her husband was no saint, a drinker with a penchant for cheating at cards, but he didn't deserve this. If the Widow stayed out here one more night, the Coyotes would finish what the Heat couldn't. Players that contributed to gain one Marshall point and one LP or one wanted point and one LP. I'm assuming you want your Marshall point and an I LP. Do. So you're going to gain a total of three LP from that story card. One, two, three. I'm that one away from sharing hurts. the game. Man. I'm going to take a Marshall point and $20. Plus I get an LP, so I'm not losing as badly to the man in black. Now we'll do my turn. Do I re-roll these, or do I take what I think what you I take what you rolled, because okay. we just paused, yeah. So, so I'll take 20. my 20 bucks, yeah. and I get to re-roll both of them, because they're both... There's another 20 bucks, and re-rolling both again. This is all one action. And then $10, and a bunch of gravel. Uh, which isn't going to help me do what I wanted to do. I have one more... Or two actions left still. We're going to roll mine again. Two nuggets! I get some gold. And then... I need what do I have in my hand. Nothing that's going to help me, I don't think. I'm going to, for my third action, play Living Legend to gain a Marshall Point, which is going to give me two LP and let me place a cube on this story card. So that's going to trigger the Clanton Gang. Bad lot, them Clanton boys are. One just as closed fisted as the next, and all of them happier than a buzzard to see the light go out in a man's eyes. Wow. <laughs> <Yeesh>. <laughs> Players that contributed to this draw one poker card. I get a poker card, you get a poker card. Place one gold nugget on each C bandit camp. Of uh, course, right down by where you are. You can oh you can carry an extra one too. I can't yet. After a player ends a move action in a bandit camp with a gold nugget, they gain it. We're going to spawn bandits at B, but we can't because there's a bandit here and the man in black is still at that B camp, and the sheriff will not move because no one's wanted. Um, because I, for some reason, I'm choosing to go the Marshall route this game, which is working out brilliantly for me. Now it's Man in Black's turn. So Man in Black is going to go. Most LP, most LP. Nope. Place the Man <laughs> in Black in Bandit Camp C in Cliff Junction. So he's going to move way over there. I was hoping he'd go over here and get rid of this bandit. Uh, if a bandit there, remove the bandit. The Man in Black will gain one LP, and both players discard a poker card. Spawn bandits at B. Discard a poker card. Yeah, well, that's not fun. All right, it's your turn. Deary. I'm losing miserably, folks. I'm going to... I'm losing bad. Makes me cry. I'm wondering if... I... Nah, I'm, gonna go... I'm just going to go ahead and go fight that bandit. All right. Make it easy on myself. Take that You're going to take this nugget because you ended your movement there. And I have a mule, which allows me to carry two extra gold nuggets. And whenever you're ready. So that's a zero. <laughs> a zero? The other player in this two. fight gains a wound, which your bulletproof prevents that from happening. You're going to lose a wound because of bulletproof. Uh, but you do lose an LP. Aww. Oh, darn. You're two away from ending the game now oh, instead of just one. Get rid of that bandit. If bandit goes away. Point, you get a right? marshal point. Or you can take an LP if you would like. I think I'll take my marshal point. For the 30 bucks? And my $10 because yeah, that's all you I'll can. be able to carry. So that was my first action. My second action will be to go to the saloon. The saloon? And I'm going to play some polka. Yep. All right. $10 goes in. Get that ante up. $50 from the house. I will be playing the role of the house. In the flop. I don't like these cards. The flop more. has Ace of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, and Four of Spades. It's a whole lot of nothing. super duper it's nothing. a whole lot of nothing. Alright, and reveal. The house has a pair of eights. I have a pair of fours and a Lady Luck. So I lose, but, but I still Lady get. Luck's gonna give you a bunch of stuff. Thirty dollars and a poker card and a poker and your poker card because you lost. So you're gonna get to draw two poker cards. Here's your thirty bucks but from I, Lady Luck. You're gonna take ten of though. 
So you basically broke even there. For those of you that watch on Thursday, you'll know what comes next. Oh, wait. So you moved, you moved and did poker. That yep, was, that was the end of it. So that's all I can do this time. Final action. Oh, this, these are the house cards. Those need to get discarded yes. too. Like my cards in my hand were better than that. Barely, but they were better than that. All right. All right. Hi, Tongi. And Tongi's here. <clears throat> right. Fantastic. Uh, all right. you, you just missed her vey, Tongi. He went right. to bed because it's late. <laughs> Place the man in black with... You're happy now. <clears throat> yes, I am. In space as a player with the most LP. The man in black robs that player. If the man in black wins, he'll gain one LP. That player loses half their gold nuggets if I lose. Oh. If That's I rounded have. up, too, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I would gain a wound and draw a poker card. So let's see what happens. Man in black plays the highest card. Minus two. Minus two because of your ability. Actually, actually, minus just one. Because your Kit Carson ability is only outside of oh, town. Oh, outside of town. So this Jack to Jack and the but... NPCs win ties. Do you have something that can keep him from winning? Yes. <laughs> no. Yes, you're right, Tongi. I am getting annihilated. All right, so I lose half my gold. Half the gold is gone. Man in Black's going to gain a wound. A... Man in Black gains an LP. And I draw a poker card. Which, Man in Black gaining an LP means he's now tied with me. Because I'm doing so incredibly ah. well. Alright. That was beautiful. Now it is my Man turn. Man in Black. Man in Black got you. What do I have money wise got here? Oh, not enough. Well, you know what? We're going to take $20. No, we're not. I'm going to take two poker cards. Psych. I'm going to use... One action here. Where is it? Let's see here. My gold nugget's way over there. Man in Black didn't spawn bandits that turn, so I am going to move. That's right. That's happening. Uh, let's see. I need to. I can need to do some bank robbing, but I don't want to do that just yet. First, I'm going to move down. Is that a marshal? Okay. I'm going to move down here to the bank. I'm going to deposit my two gold nuggets mm -hmm. for two LP, twenty bucks, forty bucks, which I think I can only take thirty of. Now that I think about it. I don't know if I can take it. All right. So that was one action. For my second action. Oh, there's a bandit in my way. Can you find him? You got enough cards. Yeah, but I don't want to fight him because he's going to break up my movement. <laughs> he's going to break up my movement. Ugh. Tough decisions, Mark. Let's see. Tongi says I need to attack you with the music. I would love to, but my cards are awful. <laughs> I mean... You don't know that my cards are awful. Just say, man, you're giving, it all, you're giving it all away. I need to get there, but that guy's going to break up my movement. Um, you have a Mustang. Go around. Okay, yeah, but I can't. One, two, three, four, five, five. Mm. That's going to take me two actions to get to the cabaret, yeah. and I want to get there and use my... Decisions, decisions. <sighs> Do you not have, like, instincts or something? It would cost me an action to use it, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, bandit is just in my way. Bandit is just in my way. But you know what that means? That means I just have to fight Mr. Bandit. Although I don't like my cards. <laughs> um let's let's fight the band. Oh, wait a minute. We got man in black. We got Kira over here. A bunch of money and some gold nuggets. I could steal some gold nuggets. Steal all kinds of stuff. If you think you're up for it. I don't, I don't like my cards. <laughs> I'll fight the bandit. I'm gonna run the other way. Theory. I'm gonna be cowardly and run the other way. And fight this bandit with the bad cards that I have. Two right, two. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I am reducing. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, I get to look at those two cards because of my rifle. Let's see what we got here. Look oh. who remembered how to use his items. I know. I was so bad about that last game. Uh, I don't like either of those cards. Let's do. 
Let's just do this card. Should I go blind? What are you going to do? It's going to happen. This bandit's going to hurt me, so it's going to happen. Ooh. No. I'm not wounded yet. Healing. Nice. Ooh. So you I lose. Gained, I lost, but I gained an LP. Yes. Burn my payday card. He's going to come off. Uh, and then so the LP was from the action card. And I'm going to take... I've already got 120, so I'm just going to take the LP rather than a martial point. Oh, look who caught up. Look who caught up, but is still probably going to lose. Probably. Uh, that was my second action. For my third action, I will simply... What do we have here? Marshall, well, I guess I could have taken the Marshall point to play on that, but I didn't. I'll just move into the cabaret, so I'm set up for the next turn. I did, however, gain two points when I deposited those nuggets. So I will place on that. Did I get that first one? Here? Or the second one, sorry. Gain oh. any Marshall points? Yes, you did. Thanks, sorry. Forgot to check. Look at that. that. That's the end of my turn. Man in black. Place the man in black in Bandit Camp C in Spike's view. Well, he's already taken out that bandit. So um, he's not going to get a point, but each player without a wound gains a wound. I have. Wait, I got wounded last. I got wounded by the bandit, so I'm not going to gain a wound. And you're already wounded as well. Works for me. And we spawn bandits in Bandit Camp A. And he's already there. He's been there the whole game, guarding those nuggets. What? Don't you look at me like you know nothing about nothing. All right. This is going to hurt. This is going to be brutalness. Brutalness? I'm going to play poker. Because of course you are. Why wouldn't you? All right. Let's throw some poker cards out here on the table. There's $50 for the house. I will take one card for the house. I, I want another card for the house. <laughs> I don't love that card. Let me put card these, these like my cards. House card. House card. There's all the house cards. And we have a flop. And I get to draw one for yes, playing poker. Do. So we've got a queen, a six of diamonds, a queen of diamonds, and a queen of clubs. So we've got a pair of queens Jeez. in the flop. The house is going to win this. I may not beat Kira, but the house will beat Kira. Oh, will you? Will you, Mark? Yep. Ready? Unless you have a third. Unless you have a third queen, you're throwing. There. <laughs> Shut up, man! All right, let's see. Don't you, don't you mess with me. You're making me change my decision about what I'm going to play. That's what you're doing. Getting in your head. That's fine. Oh, sorry. Dang. I hit you with the cards. How about two pair? To two pair. Yeah. Mine is lower, my so kings. you win. I lose. I get nothing. I get nothing. Nothing. You get to draw a poker card. I do get to draw a poker card. You draw a poker card. You can have that. These are all going to go away. And come off the. Come out of the middle of the world. Right. Well then. You do it again. Do it again. Man, Kit Carson is a gambling fool. And I got one for. Oh, let's get discarded. Before I need to do that. <laughs> so then we get three for the flop. Draw four for the house. Queen of spades, ace of diamonds, and eight of spades. Alrighty then. Mm. <laughs> anger. So much anger. By the way, you're like, gonna lose again. Shh. Don't be like that, man. Getting in her head. So I'm gonna know. play. The music just went all somber because you're about to lose. I know. <laughs> Even the, how about an ace and a queen, so two pair. Yeah, and I'll just take my my extra card. Your extra card because you don't have. And my $20 of the 30 that I would normally get from this lady luck. Oh, yeah, because you lost $20, so you can hold it now. Oh, yeah, the deck of cards is sweet. So the deck of cards that'll be uh, that's the gambler deck is the same as the cards that we're playing with in the prototype uh, printed by Print and Play. They're super nice, and so that is uh, that's the set that we decided to go with for that. Um, the nice linen, they're matte, and it's just really they look really pretty. So all right, so what do I do now? Do I do anything? I wonder if I should sprint. Wow. 
I've got some sprint. I know I normally shouldn't show my cards, but I've got three, three sprints. sprints. Three sprints. Just come on already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my normal one, two, three with my mule. And then I'm gonna move another reaction sprint. of two additional spaces. One, two, and another reaction of two additional spaces to find myself at the cabaret for my final action. And then I have to, uh, I also moved into a space with you, so I'm going to wallop you. Wow. Like, right in the head. Wow, so I get a wound and she gets to look at my hand. Those are nice looking cards. Everybody look at, look at Mark's cards. Okay. Yeah, she walked <laughs> me, so you get to look at my cards too. Um, and that's all I get to do for this turn. Yeah, that, that was a terrible Lovely, so, sorry. beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> angle, angle in the right way. And so nothing else happens there other than I was just a big jerk. So yeah, that ends my turn, and it's the man in black's turn. And did I, uh, I did nothing. No, I did, did nothing not. useful there. All right, place the man in black and mana camp B in Sunny Hills. Ooh, he's going to take one out. He'll gain an LP. Each player without a wound gains a wound. We both are wounded. Both are wounded. And spawn bandits at A. Stand there, both there. They're both there already. All right. All right, so it's my turn. This is a tight I'm game, man. Draw. I thought I was about to win. And I know. Sure enough, I'm drawing two poker cards. I'm messing around too much is what I'm doing. For my first action... I'm simply going to throw $120 down at the cabaret. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 for 4 LP. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh-oh, what just happened? So I'll get one turn, and then we'll both get one more. Yes. Um, and I gained two or more LP, so I'm going to trigger. And, and this is because I'm the only one on this card, I'm going to be the one, only one that benefits from whatever comes of it, but that will trigger at the end of my turn. For my second action, I am going to play Instincts to draw three cards, because I don't like the cards I have in my hand. I don't like you either. And for my third action, I am going to choose to rob Kira, because she's at the cabaret with a bunch of money. <laughs> so I'm going to choose to rob Kira, which you can try and take half of her money. Bring it. Minus two. Which takes me down to a queen. It does. So you're being robbed. So you lose half of your money. Half my nuggets. So I get one gold nugget. So you get three. And I take $60 from you, which effectively at the cabaret just cut the points that she's going to earn in half. Now I have two wounds, so I have, I have to discard at the end of my turn down to a total of three cards and i have seven cards in my hand so uh let's get rid of some of these things um oh and also i gain a wanted point no nope, that's you i gain a wanted point for the robbery i'm going to play reputation out of my hand which will let me gain an extra lp so that's one less card i have to discard and then we will discard these cards here you're being cheered on for being a bad guy i know Yes, switching the bandwagon. Oh, you just wait. I'm coming oh, for you. I've, I got your number. I drug. I drug out a bit of a lead. Just All right. For right, riding the Al Hoot Trail. The Al Hoot Trail. Al Hoot Trail. All right, Man in Black. <laughs> man in Black. Wait, story card first. Oh yeah. Wow, oh, look at that. Thanks for giving me the benefit. High noon. Oh, okay. Main Street is as daisy a place as any for dying. It's fun. Like the Coliseums of old, it's easy entertainment for folks who have the stomach to watch. It's just a happy coincidence. The sand is already red. Players that contributed to this, this guy, gain one LP. They may gain a wound to upgrade a weapon at no cost. You know what? I'm going to gain that wound and upgrade my rifle for free. Jeez. I've got two upgraded weapons and an upgraded mount, so that's going to be nice for me at the end of the game. Now we'll do Man in Black. Place the Man in Black in Bandit Camp A in Sunny Hills. He's going way... Oh, that's the sheriff. He's going way over there in Sunny Hills. Bandit's going to come off the board. He's going to gain one LP, and both players lose ten dollars. Oh, that makes me super that actually, annoyed. That actually hurts you. <laughs> super annoyed because you right. had sixty dollars, and now you've yeah, only yeah, got fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to draw. You want you want you want ten dollars? Who's doing two? Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Cards. I think she's coming for me. I will spend ten dollar, or I'll spend my thirty bucks at the cabaret for my one one LP. LP. I will. And at, during my turn, I did gain a wanted point, but I couldn't place a cube on this card because I had placed it on this one over here, and I can only place one cube per turn. I'm going to arrest you, sir. You're going to arrest me, huh? I shot him to your chest. All right. Well, my rifle lets me look at two two random cards from your hand. You make them a little more random. Yeah, you're one of the people that puts them in order, aren't you? Maybe. I'm going to look at these two cards. These are her cards, for those who want to know. At least two of the five cards she has. And I have to avoid this arrest. And get the heck out of Dodge. And... We go down by one. Yes, because you were in town. You also go down by one because of my rifle. Okay. And I don't get my ability. So we're, it's essentially a wash. A wash. Okay, let's do this. You're not going to arrest me. You're right. I'm not. Yay. I'm still wanted. He played a king. I played a ten. King to ten. Keeps me as a wanted player. And I get a wound, right? Uh, yes, you gain a wound. And you have one action left. I'm going to saddle up. Move to any town space with we'll saddle up, and she's off to the bank. End of your turn. No wanted or martial points, and you didn't gain two LP. So you have to do that. Place the man in black in the same place with the player with the most LP. Why? Man in black fights that player. So he's fighting for two LP this time? Well, I'm just going to play this card because he's going to be playing something high. Other player in this fight gains 10 bucks. I'm going to get wounded, though. I can't get wounded because I'm maxed out on my wounds, which tells me what I should probably do. Man in Black's going to get 2 LP for fighting me and winning. And we spawn in bandits. And... Nope, probably not. Oh, I got arrested. Wanted, that means you're arrested. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I lose half my money. You deserve all right. 20, 40, 60. So $30 lost and half my gold nuggets rounded up, which means I lose the one gold nugget that I stole from Kira. I lost ah. Kira's gold nugget. You did. You deserve to lose those nuggets, sir. I know. All right. Getting close. That was, so now it is, is my turn. Your turn. This is the last. I round. get one turn. She gets one turn. And then we determine a winner. It's going to be me. Uh, <laughs> um, Shush. Surprisingly. I'm going to take two poker cards, and I don't have my one nugget to deposit for one, for the one LP. Let's do that man in black got me. I'm going to move up here to the mine for one action. Second action, we're going to mine two gold nuggets. For my third action, I'm going to play Determination, which gives me two actions. So for one action, we're going to move down here to the bank. And for my second action, we're going to deposit the gold nuggets, 2 LP, $40. And I gain 2 LP so I can go here on the back of this story card. And I hurt myself because I didn't heal my wounds. No, you have to get rid of your one of your last well, two cards. No, I've got. I, I can hold oh, two yeah, cards, yeah, but yeah. what's going to hurt is I'm going to take three points at the end of the three point three negative points because mm -hmm. I didn't heal myself, and I get three end game points from upgraded items, so they're going to cancel each other out. <laughs> so no end game scoring for me. Man in black. Oh yeah. Uh well, place the man in black in the Red Falls Cabaret and do the following. Uh, oh, if one player, there. there is no player in the in. Uh, Red Falls. So we won't do that. If no player's in Red Falls, the man in black gains an LP. So he's one point behind you, Kira. I see that. After resolving the above, shuffle cards in the man in black deck. Just for the friendly reminder. <laughs> and you are up for your final turn of the game, and I just need to hope that she doesn't score six points. So I'm already at the bank, so I'm going to deposit a nugget and a gold. Cool's so gold. two so. LP... $20 One, two, for you. $20. And then... <clears throat> uh, 
I am going to rob you. Yes, you probably are. <laughs> 20, 40, 60. I have $70, so there's $40 on the line for you here. Okay. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, and I don't like it. I'm changing sides is what I'm doing. Shoot out. Cancel that fight. <laughs> yes, start another one. Okay. Burn your jack. Burn the jack. Yeah. But I did lose a wound. You did lose a wound. That's going to hurt me. And I have a five. <laughs> I'm a seven. So I get robbed. You get $40. You get a wanted point, so you're jumping sides. And you burned your reputation, which is too bad because you could have played that. I know. It was worth it. It was worth it. So that was my second action. That was your second action. I can't really do much else unless I... Why not? Just for fun. No, it would be bad if I lost. What should I do? If you lost, like losing a fight against me? Like a bandit or something. Oh. Though I could just choose you can't to fight you me. again. Well, you can't. You can only fight a specific player. Oh, that's right. Once on your turn, I which just is beat you good up. for me because I have no cards to defend myself with. <laughs> yeah, I just want to beat you up. All right. Well. Not really anything I can do. There's no bandits anywhere for me to fight within reason. Well, maybe. You only have one action left. I have a sprint, so why don't and I can so move you, an extra space. So, so why don't we go up, up to that here bandit? To this bandit and try to I fight. Only have one card. Wow. But it's something to do. Why not? We'll Let's play it see risky. what happens here. I have I'm outside of town, so it goes down by two. All right. You're gonna wound me, aren't you? got wounded and the bandit won the fight so you're actually going to gain two wounds you're going to gain a wound for losing the fight and the fight card gives you a wound so you're gaining two wounds bandit goes away it's still it's fun all right so that's the end it's of the game it. why not it's worth it it was worth it um there's one more thing we have to do though one man more. in black one more man in black um and before we do that, that so you I gained get, a wanted point story so you get the story and you get the benefit from it Dead or alive, justice is a word and barely more. Out here, there's a lot of ways to make a living, but only one that lines your pockets. And thank the good Lord for those willing to lie, cheat, steal, so that others can feed their families chasing after them. Wanted players that contribute to this draw one poker card. Martial players that contribute to this game 20. I'm That's a, nobody. I'm not, I, Spawn bandits in A and B. I get nothing for that card because... I get nothing for that card. And the player who triggered track. this moves the sheriff up to three spaces, which obviously I don't want him anywhere Moving near away. me. All right. And you're right. She should have dueled me for two LP instead of robbing me. I should have. Good call. All but right. Still so matter. into the game. Oh, not into the game yet. Man in Black Man has in black. one final turn. Oh, this is going to hurt. Place the Man in Black in the same space, in the same space as the Please. player with the most LP. That would be me. If the man in black wins, which he's going to do because I have no cards to fight with, he gains two LP. <clears throat> so he's going to give him two LP. Uh, and I gain a wound, which I cannot do, and draw a poker card, which really You also hard. get. And I'm not wanted, so I'm not going to get arrested. And that is it. And you get a LP, a martial point, or a wanted point. Well, I'm going to just take the LP since we're at the end of the game. And I'm going to laugh all the way to the bank on that one. All right, so that is the end of the game. We do end game points. Now, I have three items that are upgraded. Each one's worth a point. So I have an upgraded Mustang, an upgraded rifle, upgraded revolver. So I'm going to get three points. However, I have three wounds. Each one's worth a negative point. So I lose three points. That's what you would have gotten a point at the end of my turn. Uh, yes, you would have got a point at the end of your turn. Twice, actually. You have? I have up, minus two. Minus for two wounds, for wounds. But I'm also on the wanted One attraction and give her three points. One, two, three. And she has one, one point upgraded. for the upgraded revolver. And I have $60, which gives me another gives point. Another point. <laughs> so we tied point-wise again. If you had decided to take the wanted point, he would have tied me and yep. kept me from scoring anything. And that's why I laughed. So we tied. We tied. And nobody has gold nuggets. So I they have need more money. 
But then the next tiebreaker after Gold Nuggets is who's furthest along on the speci- on their speci- specified track. You have one point on the one track to my nothing. So you won I the win! game on a tiebreaker. All right. <laughs> on a tiebreaker, nonetheless. So no. um, I think Kira's pulling the camera up so you can see our lovely face. Well, Kira <laughs> and my face. Um, so this is – that was two-player – uh, man in black deck. Uh, again, we played with the advanced rule, uh, the advanced ruling of it. So the man in black was taking his turn after you know, I would go, then the man in black, and then Kira would go, then the man in black. Uh, there is a basic version where you can play it more like the man in black is a third player. So in that case, it would have been me and then Kira and then the man in black. Um, but point spreads, you know, we both tied with 21 points. Man in black was at 15. There were a couple of times in there where he moved to bandit camps that were empty. So he didn't get points when he should have or when he could have, I guess. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind there. Um, and yeah, that's the game. Uh, very cool. Any, does any, are there any questions? I, I see a lot of comments of, you know, good game. Um, there's nice, I don't know if Tongi's still hanging around. Um, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I figured he was still around. Um, her, oh, that's Kevin. Uh, nice, nice pacing with two players. Yes, Absolutely. Um, long wants to know if you can have your number. <laughs> is it four? Is it, is it still four? I think it's four. <laughs> uh, this has been an absolute blast. Um, you know, we did a, a live stream on Thursday. If you missed that, jump over to our YouTube channel. Um, just search for Colossal Games on YouTube. We had we uploaded it there, so you can check that out. Um, and and see, we had a full six player game going then. Uh, that, Ran about two hours, a little long. We did a Q&A that pushed us over the two-hour mark. But, um, yeah, we, we ran a, a game with the, even with a couple of newer players. <laughs> um, so there. do you want to talk a little bit about, like, what your strategy was going in? Let people know. Cause yeah. Um, playing, we, we purposely chose to play the advanced player to just make it a little more challenging with the man in black, which, as you saw, he kept pace with us pretty well. Um, yeah. The, my strategy going in, because I was Jesse James, I wanted to start Wanted. And I wanted to play the wanted track because with the wanted track, I'm earning LP at the end of every one of my turns. My luck turned out pretty bad. Into my first turn, I got arrested because the man in black came and arrested me. So he kicked me off of the wanted track before I, I mean, I got to earn the one LP, but I didn't get to do any more like I wanted. Couldn't climb the track really quickly because he took me out. Um, and then that climbed up the marshal. And then I decided to climb the marshal track a little bit. I picked up a couple of LP from that uh and and started getting up the track there um i'm a little surprised we ended up tied um you know when when tongi jumped in he even made the comment that it looked like kira was crushing me and she was she was up six or seven points um there so you can see you really don't have much of a runaway leader problem here uh but i had to switch my strategy up because my strategy was to stay wanted as long as i could unfortunately for me i could only stay wanted for one turn uh so i had to switch up strategy in the middle game which you can do very easily uh in the game either jump you know jumping between tracks or just deciding okay i'm off the track i'm just gonna go mine for gold and play poker uh so there there are little things there did you have a strategy going in well when i play with kit uh and he starts in a mine i really want to go with the, like an initial mining strategy one of the things that i didn't do that i would normally do when i go and get a mule um, and it's only just my luck didn't work out that I had a lot of money at the start of the game, but I normally buy my mule and upgrade them right away because it allows me to carry a total of, well, you get six, you get to carry six nuggets with a mule, but you also get extra LP when it's upgraded. Um, uh, when you, when you turn in four or more gold nuggets. So I lost out on that extra benefit. Um, that would have really helped me seal my win yep. even more. Uh, but, and also I didn't get the extra LP for the upgraded mule, which was kind of a bummer. But um, I don't know. It was it was clear to me that Mark was starting to get ahead, being wanted, um, and I needed to do something about that. So I I normally play a little less uh, less on the Marshall side of things. I tend to go in the middle ground when I have somebody like Kit. Uh, but I went a little more aggressive, and I think it paid off for me in the long run. I, it could have, like I said, been better if I'd upgraded my mule for when I was depositing those gold nuggets. But overall, I think it turned out well for me. Yeah. Well, and, and I think one of the things that cost me is the wounds. I had three wounds at the end of the game. If I'd have gone to the doctor's office and spent $10 to heal them all, I would have had three extra points at the end of the game and we wouldn't have come down to the tiebreaker. I would have just won by three points. Well, um, one of the things that helped me win the game is the one of, is the fact that I switched yep. sides because I would have only gotten, uh, what, two LP? Yeah, you would have had two LP down on the Marshall track where you were, but by jumping and being the most wanted player, you got three at the end of the game. Yep. Uh, and again, had I been paying attention and taking the wanted point instead of the extra LP, 
you wouldn't you wouldn't have picked up those extra points at all because we both would have been quote unquote most wanted and it's unfriendly ties so no one would have well we each would have gotten a point um with that because Basically we were both wish. on the track yeah yeah <laughs> so uh but yeah that's that is western legends i don't i don't see any questions over in the q a tab um there uh we're going to throw this video up on youtube as well uh once the live stream's done and we shut it down we're gonna i'll download the video get it up on youtube um uh, that is there uh ten dollars too cheap for the doctor not really because there's only one doctor space on the board uh part of the reason i didn't go to the doctor's office is because i was in the wrong town uh and i was i, I was looking at, at ways i was hoping to get a card that would let me have but there's a, a card determination that gives you two extra actions i needed one of those cards to get to the doctor and still have an action because it still costs you an action yes you're only spending ten dollars to heal all of your wounds uh but it does cost you one of your three actions uh, so you've got less that you're able to do on your turn, you know, because you're spending time in the doctor's office. Several times I was yeah. hoping for that king uh, yeah. with all those extra card draws. Yeah, the king the, the king is one of those cards that when I first saw the action on the card, I'm like, uh, two act, you know, gaining two actions. You know, I have to spend an action to gain two. Didn't seem very powerful, but the more I've played with it, the more I want that king to show up in my hand. Uh, there, this says, will there be a box insert and what size do you expect the box to be? Um, so the, the box is, uh, are you guys familiar with like Inish or Kim? Inish or Kim. It's going to be an extra, extra large size box. Um, and as far as the insert, it's a pretty, uh, basic insert just to allow room for everything. So you don't have to worry about like, if you chose to keep the store put together, you'll have room for that, or you can have it flattened, um, you'll have baggies for your cards and the minis and everything. So it's a pretty basic insert. So it'll allow you yeah. some room um, for all of the extra, extra stuff that from the Kickstarter stretch goals and from the fistful, I'm sorry, the good, the bad, and the handsome expansion, you should be able to keep everything inside the box. Yep. Everything will fit there. And this is a no prototype problem. store. So it'll be a, the, the actual one will be a good chip board, you know, punch board uh, store. Um, this is obviously really prototype, so it'll look a lot nicer. And like she said, you'll be able to leave it assembled uh, in the box without having to take it apart like we do for our box because we got a little tiny box. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that is Western Legends. Again, we've got a um, little over 24 hours, about 25 hours, 25 and a half hours left in the campaign. Uh, in the campaign. Uh, let's see, mention the cards will be map poker cards. Um, yes. The, or, the or the gambler poker deck. Poker deck the the separate from the game deck. The, the the deck that's in the game will be, we've unlocked up to 310 GSM. GSM. Uh, I imagine it'll probably still be matte though, just because it, when we've played the prototype, I mean, the cards we're using are matte finish and they feel really good. They feel very old timey, which I, I think is thematic with the game. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably still be a matte finish. They'll just be a little bit better card quality. Um, but what you see here that we're playing with, this will be the quality of the poker deck, that gambler add on. It's a standard poker uh, linen yeah. deck. And, and they're just, it's really, it's a little hard to see probably here. I'll see if I can get up close, but the, the linen, um, for the linen type stock. And we've just gotten a lot of compliments on how good these look with the art. And so that is the poker deck that will come as the gambler that you can get separately. Um, if you'd like to have it, we're printing it through a separate printer. So if you want to uh, separate that out in Pledge Manager after the campaign and have that come before uh, Western Legends comes, you'll be able to do that mm -hmm. for uh, extra shipping. It'll be an extra $3 or $4 international. So $3 for um, United States, $4 for international shipping for the poker deck. Um, but it's a really, if, if, you know, you want a little something sooner than, uh, while we're getting Western legends printed, or for those of you that just got the, the gambler poker deck, uh, the art, it'll just be the art without the actions at the bottom or reactions or bonuses. Um, and then as you guys probably saw in the updates today, we unlocked the Joker and that looks super yes. cool. Roland did an amazing job again, no surprise, uh, making us an amazing, wonderful piece of art for, for our poker deck. Yep. And the jokers are going to be fun to play with. I love the artwork on those. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're, we wrapped up here. Like I said, we'll download this. We'll get it uploaded to the YouTube channel. Again, just jump over to YouTube and do a search for colossal games. Uh, you'll see the stream we did on Thursday, a six player game. You'll see this stream here, uh, the two player man in black deck uh, with the two of us. Um, and then we've got some, you know, the other videos, the, you know, how to play videos are there, uh, as well. If you haven't watched them on the Kickstarter campaign, you can watch them while you're on the YouTube channel. Uh, be able to check us, uh, be sure to check us out, um, 
Board Game Geek. Uh, we've got a page there, Western Legends. If you haven't done so, uh, subscribe to Western Legends on Board Game Geek so you get all those updates as we post new things uh, there. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's just at Colossal Games. Colossal with a – wait, over here. Colossal with a K. <laughs> My camera's backwards. Colossal with a K, uh, all one word. So Colossal Games, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Feel free to shoot us any messages or questions. Uh, we'll be happy to answer those, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Or should we, like – Tip my hat. Bye.